So for Santa Rita Hills Pinot Noir, um, something unique about our approach to Pinot Noir is uh, we ferment predominantly as whole clusters. Okay, so normally with red wine production, the stems are removed um, and the grapes are fermented on their own. And that's where you derive all the color, a lot of flavor, structure, etc. Um, fermenting as whole clusters is akin to cooking a protein with a skeleton, if you will, right? So if you picture destemming fruit like a boneless, skinless filet of something, it's wonderful, it's great, it's totally appropriate, and it's relatively common. Whole cluster work is more like a chicken breast on the rib or a bone-in piece of meat or a whole fish. It's not better or worse than removing the stems. It's simply some different issues and some different um, things to consider um, and different results and outcomes as a result. The reason for so doing is multifaceted here. Uh, we really see the stem as an inherent part of the system. Okay? And for us, everything that we've done at Burr Clifton with all of our state plantings have been kind of very, much, very, very mindful of the ultimate plan and priority of working with the stems. Okay? From site selection, clonal selection, how we farm, how we harvest, how we leaf thin, the devil's really in the details um, because there, there's a potential downside to stem inclusion if the stems aren't quite right and they can be kind of green and astringent, etc. That for us is something to be avoided. We want the stems to be a, a quiet anchor in the wine. Okay, so Santa Rita Hills is, is known for being, and it is, as Pinot Noir, um, very, very lush. There's a potential with Santa Rita Pinot to be very dark, very sensual, very curvy, very lush. Right? And, and, um, and that aesthetic is completely appropriate um, and is a very common style and a lot of our appellation has become known for that. Mm -hmm.